so this video we are going to focus on uh, some more pH calculation but you'll, you will find questions in what will happen when I mix uh, strong acids, two strong acids or when I mix two strong bases or an acid and a base and how will the pH changes and how to calculate the pH. So before starting the actual questions, let us just uh, recollect the seven strong acids and the eight strong bases. We know that the seven strong acids are HCl, HPr, HI, HNO3, sulfuric acid, HClO3 and HClO4. And the eight strong bases as given over there, uh, the first group hydroxide, lithium to CCF. Then we have uh, three hydroxides from second group, calcium, barium and strontium. So why are they uh, written over here is, for this chapter you should know that strong acids and strong bases, they ionize completely. So what I mean by that, ionizes completely. So if you have HCl, it will give me hydrogen ion and Cl minus and this is a one side reaction. So that means if I start with 0 0.10 molar HCl, I will get 0 0.10 molar hydrogen ions and 0 0.10 molar chloride ion also. Here the concentration of chloride ion is irrelevant. So what you have to just notice is concentration of hydrogen ion is equal to the concentration of the acid. Similarly for the base also concentration of the hydroxide ion is equal to the concentration of the uh, original base. So this is true for the monobasic uh, or the all those bases which has 1 OH, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium and cesium. But when I come to calcium, barium and strontium, you notice that from the equation, say I have given an example of barium hydroxide. For 1 mole of barium hydroxide, I get 2 moles of hydroxide ion. Hence, the concentration of hydroxide ion in case of barium hydroxide is 2 times 0 0.1 that is 0 0.2. So, remember that um, all the acids which has 1 hydrogen and all the bases which has 1 OH concentration of base and the acid uh, um, is equal to their respective uh, hydroxide and the hydrogen ions. And for those bases which has got two OH ions, the concentration of OH will be twice the concentration of the original base. The only the, um, diprotic acid or the only acid which has two hydrogen uh, is the sulfuric acid will be uh, discussed uh, in a different uh, uh, video. This uh, concept of uh, just um, uh, multiplying the concentration of uh, sulfuric acid to get the concentration of hydrogen ion doesn't work here. It works differently. We will take care of it later. Let's do the first question. Calculate the pH of the resulting solution formed when 253 milliliter of 0.25 molar HCl is mixed with 455 milliliter of 0.16 molar HI. Both are strong acids, so they ionize completely. So the first step is to get the concentration of hydrogen ions from both of them. So the concentration of hydrogen ions from HCl is equal to its concentration that is 0.25 and the concentration of hydrogen ion from HI is equal to the concentration of HI that is 0.16. So you can't uh, add the concentration the, we have to find out the total uh, hydrogen ion concentration to get the pH. To get that, we need to get the moles of hydrogen ions in HCl. So we have the uh, concentration given and the volume is there. So if I multiply by the volume and the volume has been converted into liters, I get the moles of hydrogen ion uh, from HCl. Similarly, I can calculate the moles of hydrogen ion from HI by multiplying by the corresponding volume in liters. So I get the moles of hydrogen ion from HCl, I get the moles of hydrogen ion from HI. So concentration of hydrogen ions after we mix is total moles of hydrogen divided by the total volume. So now add up the two moles you got and the two volumes we have, I have kept the volumes in liters and that is the concentration of the hydrogen ion when the two solutions are mixed. So once I have the concentration of the hydrogen ion, pH can be easily calculated. pH equals negative law of H positive. So pH is equal to, so substitute the values and I get pH equals 0 0.723.
So in such question, just be careful. Uh, looking at the question, if an acid is given, the pH will be less than 7. If a base is given, the pH will be greater than 7. So this is one way you can check if you are doing the question correctly or not. Calculate the pH and pOH of the resulting solution formed when I mix 365 ml of 0.35 molar sodium hydroxide and 675 ml 0.28 molar KOH. So proceeding in the same similar way as the previous question, I calculate the moles of uh, hydroxide ion from sodium hydroxide and the moles of hydroxide ion from potassium hydroxide. And uh, after I get the moles of hydroxide ions, because as I said, these two are fully uh, bases which ionize fully. Therefore, concentration of hydroxide will be equal to the concentration of sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. So once I get the moles of uh, hydroxide ion, get the concentration of hydroxide ion by dividing the total moles by the total volume. So and um, this is the concentration of hydroxide you are getting. Therefore, we are calculating the pOH. pOH equals negative log 0.305 and the pOH comes as 0.516. Since they have asked for the pH also, pH will be equal to 14 minus 0.516 and that comes as 13.48. One more question. Calculate the pOH of the resulting solution form when I mix 425 milliliter uh, 0.65 molar lithium hydroxide and 365 milliliter 0.28 molar barium hydroxide. Uh, look it carefully. I am mixing um, hydroxide which has 1 OH with an hydroxide that has 2 OH. So here the as always calculate the moles of hydroxide from lithium hydroxide and the concentration of um, Hydroxide from lithium hydroxide is equal to the concentration of lithium hydroxide. That's why I have used 0.65 multiplied by the volume. I get the moles of hydroxide from lithium hydroxide. But in case of barium hydroxide, if you notice that for every one mole of barium hydroxide, I get two moles of hydroxide ions. And hence, if you look at that arrow pointing there, the concentration of hydroxide is taken as 0.28 times 2 and then multiplied by the volume of the solution in liter. So it's very important if you have 2 OH, multiply the concentration of the base by 2. And then the rest remains the same thing. You can calculate the concentration of to uh, total concentration of hydroxide by dividing the moles, total moles by the total volume and use the formula POH equals negative log um, concentration of hydroxide ion and get the value of uh, POH. In this case only POH is asked. Therefore, uh, the whole thing becomes simple. You don't even have to calculate the pH. This is a little different question. Uh, read it carefully. Calculate the pH of the resulting solution formed when 525 milliliter 0.28 molar sodium hydroxide is mixed with HCl. 785 milliliter of 0.42 molar HCl. So in this case, I'm mixing an acid and a base. Therefore, one is going to give me hydroxide ion, the other one is going to give me hydrogen ion. Let's see how we can do this question. So as always, let's just calculate the moles of hydroxide ion from sodium hydroxide. And that comes as 0.147, multiplying the concentration by the volume. Similarly, I calculate the moles of hydrogen ions from hydrochloric acid. I multiply the concentration of hydrochloric acid by the volume and I get that as 0.329. Now, an acid and a base when they react with each other or the hydrogen ions and the hydroxide ions, they will neutralize each other. So, equal amount of each one will get consumed and the one which is excess will remain. So, if I look at moles, you see that I have uh, more of HCl. Therefore, uh, HCl will remain after the hydroxide ion has reacted with it and hence the moles of hydrogen ion after I mix will be equal to moles of hydrogen ion minus see in this case I am not adding I am subtracting minus the moles of hydroxide ions. 
So this will be the moles of hydrogen ion that will be remaining after I mix. Divide this by the total volume to give the concentration of hydrogen ion. And after I get the concentration of hydrogen ion, pH can be directly calculated by using negative log concentration of hydrogen ion and get the value of pH. So because I have excess HCl left over, the solution is an acidic solution with a pH less than 7. Calculate the pH of the resulting solution formed when 375 milliliter 0.65 molar NaOH is mixed with 465 milliliter 0.38 molar HCl. So this is also similar to the previous one. But what is different here? Let us see. So as uh, always, calculate the moles of hydroxide ion from the concentration of sodium hydroxide by multiplying it by the volume in liters and calculate the moles of hydrogen ion by multiplying the concentration of hydro HCl times the uh, volume. And uh, if you notice here, in this case, moles of uh, NaOH is larger than the moles of hydrogen ion. Therefore, when after you mix, some of the all the hydrogen ion will get neutralized and will be left with NaOH uh, or the hydroxide ions. And hence, in this case, we will subtract the moles of OH minus the H positive, and uh, moles of hydroxide will be remaining. And the rest remain the same thing. Once you have the moles of hydroxide after remaining, calculate the concentration of hydroxide ion by dividing by the total volume. After you do that, calculate the pOH because in this case, it's because of the hydroxide ion, we get the pOH and after you get the pOH, subtract it from 14 to get the pH of the solution. So therefore, it just depends on when you mix, a solution can be acidic or basic depending on the concentrations of the acid or the base and uh, whatever is left over after the neutralization or in other words, complete reaction.